friends hi uh, this is video number 3 in the series of campus placement for students who are preparing for campus placement uh, and looking for their dream jobs group discussion is a very important stage in campus placement and most of us are not aware of uh, uh, how to do that uh, and sometimes we make a mistake and we lose our dream job and even if you have all the technical skills qualities but still you don't get the job so this video is for you and the topic is very important how to speak in a group discussion without interrupting others it's very important because in group discussion it's it's all chaotic it's all like a fish market everyone is trying to speak first because they think that if i speak more i'll be selected so everyone is very desperate to put their views but how to do that how to speak without interrupting or uh, without getting uh, without offending others how to do that i'm going to tell you in this gd very important tips are there if you follow those tips you will comfortably win the gd let's start these are the four tips dear friends which will help you immensely to crack the gd many students have told me that they have the basic problem that they they want to speak but they don't get time to speak i mean everyone is there talking and rushing and jumping over each other and they don't get any time to speak up sir how to handle this well i'll tell you first thing first tip which sounds very obvious but it is important first tip is speak as early as possible i mean when the gd starts try to speak first everyone is going to do that but try to speak first if you don't get a chance no problem but at least you try to do that so the first tip is try and speak your point as early as possible another advantage of doing this is you will uh, you know speak whatever you have and you will be the first person to put that particular point that perspective but if you wait then someone else will come and hijack your point and he will speak whatever you wanted to say and then you will have nothing else to say so it is better to speak first this is the first tip second tip now now you want to speak that's great but if someone is speaking you can't interrupt that person it is rude and it's not acceptable in group discussion then how to interrupt listen carefully see when when we are speaking we are speaking in a particular tone tone and non verbals means when someone is speaking that person is speaking in a particular pitch of voice and about and body language also the when that person is about to stop you can figure it out when you when you when you are a good observer when you observe that this person is about to stop he is about to finish his point that at that particular instant you have to jump in means what the moment he stops you have to start that gap must not be there this gap when he stops there should not be gap you jump in this needs practice i know that but understand one thing that while doing that you should be careful that that person is actually going to stop mm. and you can do that you can learn that only by observing his verbal and non verbal communications verbal means the 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 words the sentences the ideas and this is what i feel dear friends when he says that you you, you realize oh okay, he feels this he is going to stop now because when we end any sentence we end with a particular note and also his non verbal that's body language also tells that he is going to stop once once you observe that you can jump in just get into that when he ends when you start this is the second tip third tip is high pitch of voice and confidence in your voice very important it is because once you jump in others will also try to jump in when one person finishes others will also try to jump in in that particular situation your pitch of voice must be clear and confident your body language hi there what happens is this has an impact on others others will sit quiet then they will take a back back foot but if your pitch of voice is slow monotonous dull then they will all just suppress your voice and someone else having more confidence Hi. and higher pitch of voice will speak this not this does not mean that shout this means confident talk and high pitch of voice you can really you can do that 
when you are confident about the topic, you have high pitch of voice and you're more confident. So this is a very important tip. Well, last point, you may feel like, sorry, this is obvious, but this is most important is the practice. You have to do lot of, lot of, lot of practice. Form a group, I mean, form Zoom groups uh, with your friends and start practicing this. Start practicing uh, with try, trying to speak without interrupting the other person. If you can do more and more practice, you will get more and more confident. More and more confident while speaking with someone and you will not interrupt or I'll say you will not cut that person. But you will speak when he ends. That happens only by practice. So I request you all to just form a group of your friends who are preparing for campus placement and have a lot of lot of lot of mock GDs and then see the magic you get more confident and next time when you actually perform in a GD you will not have any fear or any nervousness yeah some amount will be there I will not say any, not at all but will be there but you will be more confident and you will be able to handle such people in a better way who interrupt you or cut you well these are the four tips let me summarize these four tips again so that you 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 should not forget this first tip Start as early as possible. Don't delay. Don't say that I will speak after number two, number four, number five. Don't do it. Speak first. Number two, observe the verbal and non-verbal of the person who is speaking. When you are a good observer, you can figure out when he's going to stop. Number three, high pitch of voice and confidence. This comes by practice. You have to see, you have to shoot yourself. Shoot your video and see how is your pitch of voice. Number four, very important, practice, practice, practice. Do a lot of, lot of, lot of practice. So guys, these were the four tips which will help you to speak without actually offending or interrupting the other speaker. And this will make a big difference. You will win the GD. Thanks for watching this video. If you feel like this video is helpful, forward this video in your friends group so that most of the students should get benefited out of this. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.